This is obviously not a situation or a decision to be taken lightly, and we will continue to uh, reflect and work on this issue. As I said many times, uh, this uh, matter is uh, to be determined by the Attorney General. That is what I said to the former Attorney General, and that's something that the current Attorney General knows uh, full well. Uh, so this is uh, part of respecting the rule of law and the independence of our judiciary. Um, in regards to uh, the jobs, it's important to highlight that there are jobs potentially affected in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, in Port Elgin, Ontario, in Grand Prairie, Alberta, right across the country. And our jobs as ministers and indeed as prime minister and as a government is to stand up for Canadian jobs everywhere and to do so uh, in a way that respects our institutions and the independence of our judiciary. We are obviously very concerned uh, with uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, position that China has taken. The uh, safety and security of Canadians is always of uh, first order for this government and that's why we've been uh, engaging and standing up for uh, the uh, uh, two, uh, uh, two Canadians who've been arbitrarily detained by China uh, from the very beginning. We are a country of the rule of law. Uh, we will ensure that that rule of law is fully respected and uh, we will go through those processes in a uh, proper and rigorous way. Uh, it is unfortunate that China uh, continues uh, to move forward uh, on these arbitrary detentions. We will continue to stand up for these Canadians.